What up guys and fellow lovers of the Kiwi world, welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. This is the second tutorial that I pre-recorded. Hopefully you're not missing me much because by the time you're seeing this video I will still be on vacation and hopefully enjoying myself so much. Um, anyways, yeah. The tutorial for today is of a 4 times hover speed shulker box unloader. This is the one that you see right here. And yeah, I say 4 times hover speed because it technically it's faster to unload the shulker box because we have a minecart with hopper. So it's uh, 4 items per tick of speed. Uh, the only problem is then we have to unload the minecart and that's where the bottleneck appears. So yeah, the the fastest way that we can do it with a setup this small is basically just having four hoppers unloading the minecart at the same time. So that's why it's four times hopper speed, this uh, unloader. The unloader is also pretty small. As you can see, it has a layout of four, five blocks by two, four, six, five by six by two blocks. It's the layout of this unloader. And it's also tileable. You don't have to leave a space or two here. You can basically copy the same module right here next to each other. And yeah, it's it will work just fine. By the way, I do know that we have now setups like this. This was, I, I believe, discovered by El Mango in one of his videos. I also have used it for my crafting system in my Let's Play world. Uh, but yeah, this thing, yeah, it's nothing compared to that one. I mean. This one is nothing compared to this one because look at this, in just a second we unloaded an entire shulker box that was full. Let's actually get rid of this. Look at this. It's so amazing. But yeah, if you are old school and you, or for any reason you can do um, this shulker box unloader, because of course this one has one downside, you lose the shulker box when you unloaded it, unload it. you basically um, burn it into lava. So if for any reason you need to use another um, type of shulker box unloader, I believe this one will be good for you. Anywho, let's start with the tutorial. So first of all, we're going to place our double chest where all the items are going to come in. Um, by the way, this doesn't have to be a double chest. You can basically put a shulker or something down here, but for now I'm just using a double chest because it's easier and it looks cool. Uh, anyways, behind the double chest you're going to place two hoppers and then four hoppers on top of the double chest and those two hoppers that you just placed. Then we're going to place a honey block right on top of that hopper on the corner. Then we're going to place a sticky piston facing into the honey block just like that. Then we're going to place a repeater on two ticks behind the piston with a block behind the repeater. Then an observer facing into the block with a node block right on top of it. Then we're going to place another observer on top of the node block and an observer reading that observer facing that way. Next thing that we will do is place the storage for the shulker boxes, the empty shulker boxes that is. So we're going to place a temporary block right here and then a barrel right on top of it. Um, this doesn't have to be a barrel, you can place, it, place a hopper or dropper, anything you need, but this is where your empty shulker boxes are going to come in. If you want to get them out of there, you can place a, a dropper and power it somehow, or you can just place a line of hoppers down here. Um, you can decide that part, but for now we're going to be using a barrel. Then to uh, facing to that barrel, we're going to place a hopper on this side right there, with a comparator facing uh, that way on top of the hopper. Then we're going to place a block, a solid block, right in front of the comparator, just like so, and a solid block in front of this observer. Then we're going to place a piston, a sticky piston, facing that way, in front of that uh, block that we just placed, with a observer facing into the side, right in front of that uh, sticky piston that we just placed. In front of the observer, we're going to place a uh, a solid block with a node block just below it. Then we're going to place a piston, a normal piston, right on this side of the node block, facing into the comparator. And on the other side, well, on this side actually, a dispenser facing into, well, inside of here. <laughs> so at the moment it should be looking like this from this side and like this from the other side. 
next thing that we want to do is place a block right on top of the barrel and a block right in front of it. Then we're gonna place a comparator facing out of that block with an observer reading it and another observer reading that comparator. The last thing to do of the mechanism is to place a hopper right here to feed the dispenser with new shulker boxes. Of course, you can basically connect this hopper to um, any other storage uh, system or farm or whatever that will feed this dispenser with loaded shulker boxes. Now, the redstone is indeed done, but we are not yet done. We are just missing one little thing, and that is the minecart with hopper here that will unload the system. Now, this is a little bit tricky to place, but yeah, bear with me. So first of all, we're gonna grab two end rods and we're gonna place one right below that dispenser and one right below that uh, piston. Then we're gonna place a solid block or a full block, I guess, on top of this honey block so we can place a rail because if you didn't know, you cannot place rails on top of honey blocks. Then we're gonna place a minecart with a hopper right on top of the rail and we're gonna break the block and the rail. Well, the rail will, bro will break um, automatically, I guess. Then we're gonna push the minecart and I'm, I'm gonna activate the hitboxes so you can see a little bit better, but it's actually super easy. You can basically come into the into the honey block, walk on it and push the push the minecart against the end rods. And as you can see for from the hitbox, they are touching the end rods perfectly. And yeah, that means that the minecart is perfectly aligned. With the honey block, it's super easy because the minecart uh, advances very slowly and it's very precise you cannot fail with this believe me now the last thing that we want to do is remove this end rod you you only have to remove that one but i i like to remove both of them if you want to keep the one that is below the dispenser it's just fine you only have to keep in mind that you have to remove the one that you place below this piston but with that guys the the little system is done now, if we grab some shulker boxes, some full shulker boxes, these have three stacks of, block of, iron, of blocks of iron inside of them. I'm gonna place four inside of the dispenser. As you can see, it immediately detects it and places it here. You can still open the shulker box. If you, of course, uh, build another system right in front of it, you won't be able to, but that's fine. And as you can see, immediately after the shulker box is empty, the comparator detects it and the whole system acts on it. And there we go, yep, it breaks it, it places it into the barrel, as you can see we, we have two so far, and it keeps on loading them. Eventually this minecart with hopper uh, will fill up, and it will uh, slow the process a little bit. So the unloading uh, part of the mechanism will be really four times hopper speed, so that's why at the beginning I said four times hopper speed. But as you can see it's pretty fast, we still have a lot of items in the in the minecart, but all your shulkers are empty. Now here in the chest we should be receiving all the items, of course there we have the rail that we broke earlier, and as you can see we are getting four items at a time, which I believe it's super cool. Anyways, um, so the system has completely is completely done with the unloading part, and as you can see we have the 12 stacks that we had in the in the four shulker boxes here i already removed the shulker boxes oh no actually there they are four empty shulker boxes as you can see now um as i said this this system is tileable infinitely tileable that is of course um you would need to copy the system in the same orientation that we have it right here so it would be something like this and you oh, and you continue building the system from up here and yeah basically um, nothing will interfere with the other system so you can basically have them um, completely joined together I guess and as you can see yeah it will look something like this from the top of course with the block here and the, the observers I'm not gonna build the entire system but this is just to prove you that it will it will work fine with having two system systems um, joined together but anyways guys that is the whole video for today this was a shorter one it's a very easy tutorial to do to follow it's a very easy contraption as well so yeah that's why this one is a shorter one but i hope you still like it i hope that you still can find it uh useful and yeah 
Thank you for watching guys. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. I still, by this time, I will still have like two weeks, two weeks and a half of vacation. So don't worry, eventually I will return. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. I hope you have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.